Okay. Well, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. Uh, this video is actually for a specific friend, uh, my friend Liddy, who has decided that she would like to do something kind of small with veil. So I uh, borrowed a veil from one of my fellow troop dancers, and I'm just going to walk you through a couple of really basic steps. Um, I should explain, I'm not very good with veil. I don't like dancing with it very often. Uh, I, I feel like a, I always joke, I feel like a T-Rex. Like, rawr, with little short stubby arms. It's just not my favorite of the props to work with. Um, first and foremost, this is a circle veil, and this one is made of silk, as you can see. Flows really, really pretty. These just look gorgeous. Once you get them actually moving okay they're just really pretty um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're holding it properly so you want to kind of hook it right over the back of your shoulders and pull your arms out you'll notice how I'm holding it um, is kind of with my thumb and your fingers like right that okay that's about how you want to hold it some people will tell you, whatever, oh, that's not how you do it. Yeah, honestly, do what makes you comfortable, but this at least looks pretty, okay? So a few of the basic things you can do, um, if you want to walk on with it, you can wear it on. You can either um, kind of bustle it into your skirt if you're wearing a skirt or belt, or uh, what a lot of dancers will do is they'll wrap it around here and tuck it under their costume bra or whatever, and then here, so you get kind of this, like, Roman toga thing going on, okay? Um, and then you can, you know, pull it off. <laughs> I have cats in my way. You can uh, pull it off really kind of sensually and maybe do some snaky arm type things. Um, I'm sorry, my cats see these things come out and they're like, ooh, shiny is mommy. Uh, so a few of the steps you could probably do just to show you a couple of things that are pretty easy to transition into one another is you can do a cross point, which is where you're just kind of stepping over one foot and you point and then you step and you point and you step and you point and you step and you point. And when you want to incorporate veil with that, what you're going to do is following the foot you're crossing over, you're going to bring it down and then over opposite the one that you're pointing. Down. Just like that, okay? Um, you can also do, I have no idea what it's called, so I just call it the switch, which is, I'm gonna do it really slow and it's gonna look really awkward, okay? You want this arm to be just completely as straight up as you can manage, and you're gonna turn, and then this comes in front of you like that. You turn in the other direction. And then it goes like that, okay? So when you're actually spinning real fast with that, it looks a lot more impressive. So when you actually get a good spin going, okay? Really simple, but it looks cool. Uh, you can also do the matador, which I'll do nice and slow, okay? So you bring it around your head and in front, and then you're going to cross over and bring it back over your head, and you wind up right back where you started. Okay, Let's try it again <laughs> without getting caught in front, and cross over and up. And when you do it fast, it's kind of a whippy move supposed to show off the veil and you can actually turn with it which just looks pretty um, this is one of my favorite moves hold your arm up and you're gonna whip the veil over your head uh, and it looks like it makes this really pretty arc <laughs> when it doesn't get caught in your damn hair by the way, if you're going to do this, practice with your hair up <laughs> and with whatever costuming you're going to have on because props don't always work the way you expect them to. 
so you just kind of like whip it over. You're making this pretty arc with your head, with your hair, or with the veil. God, I'm tired. It's late. But then when you get to the front, you can bring it over and around. Okay. And that's again really simple. Over your head, over your head, over your head and around. And then you're just holding it at your waist. And you can do kind of a pretty, just wave it in front of your body. And it looks really impressive to the audience. If you can do a back bend while you're doing that, it looks awesome. Um, I've seen a lot of people who will bring the veil up like this also. And you can do little head movie thingies. Um, you can play with it like this. Do some funky stuff behind it just to kind of tease. Um, if you can do a back bend, I've seen a lot of dancers do this and they'll just flip it over and drop it and that's how they'll get rid of it. Um, that's honestly really about it. You can spin with it just with one hand. Wave it around and go back in the other direction. Um, you just really have to kind of play with it and get comfortable. I would just practice a couple of times before you actually decide to perform with these bad boys because they don't always work the way that you want. Goku, this is not yours. Oh my god, wait. My cat is totally trying to steal this veil. Look at this. This is not mine. It's Anne's, ooh. No, you cannot have the veil. It's Anya's. You won't hurt it. He's so sweet. Anyway, um, so that's about it. I hope it helps you. I wish you luck. Let me know how it comes out. Um, I've actually, I know I've got some good instructional videos somewhere for this stuff, like here. So if I find one that I'm not going to hang on to, I'll send it to you and you can play with it. Other than that, that's it. Ta! Talk to you guys later. Bye.